Okay, thank you. Um, as usual, we want to know how yesterday, um, how, how you spent it, what you were able to um, do. And um, if you have any blockers, um, you can ask. We have the team on the call today that would uh, be able to help and assist. There has been some questions and needs to be answered, and then we'll get back to them later today. And uh, um, we want each group to um, give us an update as to how they are doing and what they plan on doing today in order to bring everything into one group such that it's a data product and is ready to be scaled. I mean, ready to be deployed. Uh, we, we should have a presentation with Yababel and Aaron where you present your solutions to them and then they give you their uh, feedback and opinion. So without uh, delaying um, let's kick start the stand up good morning once again um i'm just going to be selecting today um i would like to hear from uh, let's say a jerusalem jerusalem can you join us uh maybe not can you guys hear me by the way am i audible yes sir okay that's good thank you Jakinda. yes yes can we have your update my update yeah what were you able to do yesterday um how is it looking like submitting today and stuff like that yeah uh so for our group we we're actually just remitting and uh we are able we have the front end working i believe and uh it's producing the only issue we are having is how to write this uh to consume into the bucket because uh, we have been having a little issue on how to properly write that document the audio file into the s3 bucket so i don't know if anyone has figured it out yet so yeah that's that's i think where we are right now because uh up to that point everything is working i guess it's producing and sending to the topic so now we had a demi that was uh consuming from the topic into another folder locally but uh how to consume into the s3 is where it's bringing an issue so i don't know if anyone has been able to like figure it out Um, okay, um, that's thank you very much, Jakenda. And that seems like a big uh, issue. And hopefully, maybe someone has done it. If not, we'll find a solution to that today. Hopefully, uh, let's hear from um, Nabi Yusamu Abu Bakr. Yeah, um, yeah, there, there is an old data folder in in the 10 Academy um, batch four bucket. We have mounted a bucket for you. Um, this is a folder where the folder where all your notebooks are in that's also a bucket um so we have you you'll just go to a specific directory in that particular bucket and um access and write the data to that particular folder to a folder that contains your group name um so i'll send you guy i'll send you your kinder your kinder your your folder name or that particular folder name and then you can write it there instead of worrying about writing it to a bucket oh okay thank you cool um better yes yeah like i have a question for kevin like uh, he said that we can uh, save the file in the bucket that they are you are providing us like i think the jacinda however the problem is that like how we can like send the audio data through like for the functional things is through to the bucket that's the problem that we, we are facing and yeah, it's just like when you send it, it will send the byte and you will not get the values or some missing values. That's the problem. I think Jack in the house raised. Like, um, let me get this straight. Once you want to send in the data for, using Kafka, um, the bytes that you're sending across are not, um, what's it called? Like they're not, um, some bytes are missing once you try to save the audio. Yeah, like uh, sometimes it's, it's missing or like uh, it's through Kafka when you want to save it, yeah, it, 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 it's not there. 
like zero finally it will, it will say zero bytes or you will print when you print out you will see that value but mm -hmm. if you want, you want to save it like uh, sending through kafka yeah it's not working uh, okay do this can you share a screenshot of that particular section of your code that you're using to save the code um, oh, save like, the uh, for, for now i have changed like the I have only the working one like oh. I, I was trying yesterday and i have only the working one now on my repo no, no, the one is, it is working is like getting the text from the uh, S3 bucket, like the mm -hmm. uh, different text buckets, and sending back that to the front end. And yeah, uh, that's fine working. And now um, we are able to save the, those audio on the Kafka itself. Mm -hmm. uh, we can also save that to directly to S3 bucket without using Kafka. Mm -hmm. Can we do that? Like saving the S3 bucket. The, like not using Kafka, like directly the audio file, saving it to the pop, uh, the directory that we want, like the one that you gave us. I mean, um, the, the, uh, the, let me read the, the just use, to use just Kafka use, so that you can have that particular understanding. Um, so if you, if you save it directly without using Kafka and maybe or, or the help of PySpark as well, um, you're missing out on some key valuable information that you would have well if you don't use kafka like we, we are using kafka like to, to, co to consume the text that the user wants mm -hmm. to read but mm -hmm. like saving the, those values is not like working so can we use like sa saving those values directly to kafka uh, to the s3 bucket and the then audio use data directly spark. to yeah, the s3 yeah. without using kafka yeah and then use airflow and spark to pre-process the data I think the major um, reason why we have asked you to use uh, um, Kafka to um, load the, I mean, to save the audio data into S3 is just because of the um, scalability purpose. So, for instance, it might be like um, working directly if you save it um, from the from the front end straight to the S3 bucket. It might work well, but if you like and um, deploy it and then you eventually have a lot of um, users, then it's not easily scalable. So that's the major reason why we have uh, like Kafka as a middleware between the front end and then the um, the S3 bucket. So I would like, I mean, if, if you do figure out a way to like um, use Kafka to read the audio and save it into S3, that's like the proper way that we want you to do it. All right. Uh, Thank you very much, and Beckett, and then Jacinda. That was uh, helpful. Um, and we have from um, Wasi Rachel. Can you give us your update? What were you able to do um, yesterday? And then how is uh, the today's submission? How is it looking like? And then any blockers that you might have? Rachel? Okay, thank you. We'll be waiting for the uh, message. And um, um, Azaria Tamrat, can we have your own um, update? What were you able to do yesterday? Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, hi. So, what I've, I've, we were actually running into bugs, uh, into a lot of bugs, but. Uh, like we managed to set up the containers uh like the air for the airflow container and uh we managed to run the to run our first dog uh so um the one of the biggest issues that we're having right now is um when we when we're sending uh the data from the s3 bucket um we couldn't figure out a way to uh, send like the we were sending the line numbers but um that was causing an issue when we were trying to decode it and uh we had to set um the ascii to uh, false and i think that that wasn't an, an issue um we we're still trying to work on that um so the the let me get this straight the, the issue you're facing is reading is it the transcription or the audio which part is it um, the, the transcription the transcription Okay, so reading the transcription from S3 to the front end is the problem, right? Um, yeah, 
uh, like we we can read the transcription. I'm getting both the transcription uh, and the line numbers has become an issue. How, maybe it could be like a problem with how you are producing it. Are you producing it as like a, a, a JSON thing or or yeah? How? We're we're using a JSON dump. Okay, then I I think that, that should like help you um what um serialize the the object such that you should be able to get the um, the ID and then the, the sentence. So maybe maybe I'm still missing the question. Um, Okay, um, we're we're trying it right now. Um, we'll post on Rocket Chat. Okay. 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 Well, it's fine. Thank you, Azaria. And um, Beza Utella, can we have your update? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Um, uh, actually, we are the same group as as um, with Azaria. So. Okay. So. You guys are facing the same. Okay. Um, what about the airflow part? Have you guys um been able to know um how you're going to um how are you going to integrate um airflow into it? Have you done it? Um. So uh, that's the the one thing that we're, we're left with, like integration, integrating everything. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you think you'll be able to do it before the deadline? Yeah. That's that's the that's the aim. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm sure you'll do it. All right, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Zawutelem. Um, Zalalam Getaho. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, sorry, I was a little bit late. Okay, we just want to um, hear from you what you did yesterday and then um, how the deadline for today is looking like, um, any blockers you're facing, and uh, how you feeling. Okay, I'm feeling all right. Uh, for yesterday, we tried to integrate the web app with the Kafka. We have normally brought the transcripts to the front end, and we have sent our audio back to the to the back end. But we are a little bit struggling on sending the audio to the Kafka. We normally can send uh, using the bytes, but uh, converting it back has been a little bit struggling. So we are trying uh, other ways, like changing it first to the NumPy array and uh, other properties like the sampling rate and trying to send that back as a JSON, as serializing it as a JSON. And for the airflow, as my other team members have been trying that, probably since we will have a meeting after this stand up, there will be an update. So I think for today's deadline, if we fix the audio issue sending it to the Kafka, then it will be integrating it with the uh, Spark and Airflow. Okay, um, that's that's very good. Thank you very much. Um, Azaria, you can reach out to um, Zalalam since they figured out a way on how to read the transcription to the front end. So they might be able to provide some uh, helps in that regard. And then you can move on to the uh, next bit of your past. And then uh, what, the, the audio thing has been an issue. You won't uh why we do it as well um i i'm not sure if the non-pi thing should work but i'm hoping it would work um another thing that we found that uh, um, we've not tried out is the um, conversion of the the audio file for, for after we um, after producer from kafka produces it then we convert it to like an agro format i've not tried that out as well so i'm not sure if it would work you guys can research more about agro and then uh, Packet. These are like different um, file storage that we can probably use, and maybe this will like provide an easier way of uh, working with the audio via um, Kafka. Thank you very much, um, Zalala. Uh, Michael Daho. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, we can hear you. Yes. Good morning. 
Yeah, I hope we are all doing well. Yes, from my end, yesterday, I wasn't able to um, get in touch with my team members. I gave them a prior notice. But by the close of the day, I read, I read through their messages. In actual fact, last week, we worked on the, the Kafka bucket and then trying to see if we would, we would be able to get in the producers and then the consumers. As of before the submission Saturday, that we tried that and it worked. And so on Monday, they, we, they worked on the Kafka and then the Spark. I've gone through their messages and I'm yet to get myself conversant with what they actually worked on yesterday. So um, that, is, that is it from my end now. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, thank you for the um, update. Right. Um, any any blockers you think you you are facing, or you think the group is facing? You know, no. Okay? Um, the, the part the part I work I worked on, I uh, didn't get much of a too much of a blockers. I think the actual issue now would have to be with what my other colleagues have seen, and they want to find solutions to. Yesterday, a group member was having an issue, and then I think in the Q&A with um, Yerbabel, yeah, it was, he had um, some answers to it, but particularly for blockers, I think my, at this stage, my group members would have to um, speak to that. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, thank you, Michael. Uh, Sim, Sim Michael, good morning. Michael, not here. Okay. Um. Uh. Deborah Gibray, honest. Yeah. Hello, guys. Hi. Good morning. Uh. Yeah. We have uh tried. We have been working on uh, multiple things. Uh, we we are currently working on uh, the Spark and transforming the data, uh, pre-processing it, both the transcriptions and the audio, and we are also trying to integrate the scripts we wrote for the producer and consumer to the web app, but we're having some difficulties uh, in doing that uh, because uh, they're working. When we try it. When we try it elsewhere, it works. But when we do it on the web app, it sometimes returns the values and sometimes it doesn't return anything. So we're having problems with that. Uh, is, is this from the um, transcription side or from the? Yeah, uh, from okay. the transcription side. OK, so you are not, is, then you are not able to read from the S3 or what? We are able to read from the S3. When we produce the data, and try to consume from uh, the back end of the server, from the back end. Sometimes it returns the values, and sometimes it doesn't return anything. It says none. Well, and that the producer works and the consumer works. So what could be wrong? And I yeah. tried like um, probably um, recreating it, like starting from afresh, maybe recreate the topic and reproduce it. Maybe. Yeah, we have also tried that. We have try to change the uh, even the topics because it works elsewhere it just doesn't work um the... elsewhere being um, your local uh, machine or the aws no on the aws it okay. works when we try to run it on a, a jupyter notebook okay but then when you like con connect you to like the back end and the front end yeah it's not yeah okay then I guess it could be a problem of how you are connecting the front end and the back end. Are you reading directly from um, Kafka to the front end, or you are like uh, processing it some at some point before you display? Uh, we're reading from Kafka. Okay. Uh, and um, do you do you display directly from Kafka, or you process it like probably you like store it somewhere before you then display it on Kafka, or uh, how is it going? Uh, what we do is we try to pull for one message on the consumer because oh. the back end, uh, on the back end, there's a consumer. 
So it accepts one message and tries to display that, tries to send yeah. it to the front end and display that message. Yes, yeah. I think that should just work fine. I tried that. Yeah. I, I, I think that should just work fine. I am, um, I'm not sure if, uh, um, if anybody um, has faced this issue and then they managed to um, solve it, please do reach out to um, Devora or you can raise your hand and Devora can reach out to you and then you'll be able to like help each other out. Okay. 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 Uh, there's, for example, if I create a topic, uh, my other group mates should be able to access that, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. If, if you do that on um, the AWS, yes, they should be yeah. able to access okay. it. And uh, one more thing, we also were uh, thinking of uh, emitting or producing the labels instead of uh, sending the audio files to the, to using Kafka. Would that work? I mean, for example, after the audio has been produced, we don't send the actual audio uh, through Kafka. We send the metadata. And then the consumer can receive those metadata and uh, retrieve the audio files from the bucket. Would that work? OK, so let, let me get this straight. Um, you display a transcription, and then the, the, the user um, record an audio but mm -hmm. the you only store the metadata of that audio through kafka mm -hmm. and then you you would use um, um you use that metadata to retrieve the audio from the s3 yeah but will you still store the um the audio uh, to um uh, s3 the audio yeah. that was recorded by yeah okay um that that's that's another way to do it i i, I think you should work Maybe if anybody has like a different opinion, they can like raise it now. But I think it should work. And um, so we, because we, we are facing the issue of like um, audio being transformed to bytes and then we have issues converting it back. So what if we just send the metadata in form of a JSON file, which is like what Kafka is used to, and mm -hmm. then we just store the audio file, probably storing the audio file directly. Well, the major issue that I see there is probably in terms of uh, usage. And then when it's like, it's a bigger thing, um, maybe when, we have a lot of users that are using it concurrently. Maybe that would like close up and then it will not be able to scale. But then I think for this project, that might be a viable solution and then you should try it out. It might work. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, Christian? Yeah. Yes. Uh, morning. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Uh, I, I got some issues about uh, when I'm trying to, to, to drop a tag. Um, when I import Python operator, I got some message error about uh, I don't have ten years. But when I found uh, I, I found uh, I made some research about the network in order to, to see how how to fix it. The the term in that terminals is only used on Linux, so I don't know how to uh, to fix that. But yes, I don't know how to fix that because I'm using Windows. Um, I, I didn't get your question. Yes, I said that uh, I, I want to build the product by using uh, in a part of Airflow. But okay. I, I'm facing some issues when I'm trying to import Python uh, Python operator. I got some message about uh, we say that no more name terminals. Okay, that, there is like a dependency that is not installed. Is that it? Yes, something like that. Yes, and it's called Tenus. Ten, oh, Tenus. Oh. Can you post this? Let me jump in. Can you post the, the error screenshot on the rocket? Yeah, Malik, I can't hear you. Error screenshot on the rocket. What? She has asked you to post the error screenshot on rocket chat. Okay, okay. I will push it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, thanks. And um, Christian, isn't there AWS? Um, you can work on AWS. I mean, the AWS instance is in Linux. Um, so yeah, you don't really have to work from your machine. You say the issue is coming up because you're on Windows and you're getting that particular error. Maybe try, try doing the same task on AWS and see oh. if that works for you. I, but in AWS also, when I try just to, to use pipe and to airflow, 
I keep importing the flow. He told me that if he, if he didn't print it, I don't know why. Oh, okay. Which group are you in? Oh, I'm in group with Zemalem and uh, Barakat. That's group two, I think. Um, and oh, group, oh, four. Okay, okay. group four. Group four. Group four. Ah, okay. Okay, sure. Um, I'll check that out for you, and I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, Barakat, you had um, used an emoji. Um, uh, yes. Like, do you want to add something? Um. Uh, yeah, like uh, like sending the metadata only. Yeah, if that works, yeah, I think it's also long to work. That's why. Okay, did you try it out already? No, no, no. I just like sending like we have sent them audio text from the like from the S3 packet to the frontend, so we can do the reverse. I think that's my hope. That's why I send it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Okay. Um, anybody has any uh, burning questions they would like to raise? Um, we uh, time out. Uh, okay. Um, no questions. Um, Yati, are you here? Yes, I am. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, I'm here. Okay, so guys, um, today is the end of week nine, week ten, the technical assignment you have to focus today. And um, Wednesday to Friday, as we said, it's going to be focused on your careers and school file and tutorials that we can really help you in and moving forward. Okay, so I'm going to end this morning's recording session. Wishing you guys all the best, but let us all try to stay around because we are going to have.